would you swap your Scotty Cameron for one of these? I want to find that out because really that's what Odyssey want you to do. Odyssey is the number one putter in golf on all of the major tours. 7,400 putters in play this season across all of those tours versus the nearest competitor at just 4,200. So they absolutely dwarf every other putter company in the business. They're number one in wins, number one in top tens, number one in putters in the bag in majors, and also number one in the players in the top 10 in the world. And over $73 million have been won by Odyssey putters this year. There's new ones out for 2025. The AI1, which was released last year, we were lucky enough to go to Texas and cover that. So you can check out that video on the channel as well. AI1 was a huge story for Odyssey. So it's a putter that is obviously using AI technology, artificial intelligence to design the putter face and make it forgiving from all areas. So if we don't strike the center, we're gonna get similar ball speeds on toe and heel strikes that we would out of a centered strike. What does that mean? Well, it means that the ball's gonna roll better. It's gonna roll closer to the hole and hopefully get you inside that scoring distance to lower your scores on the golf course. We've got four brand new models here to have a look at in the AI1 milled. Now a milled putter is probably the only category that Odyssey does fall down a little bit when you compare it to all the others on tour. That milled space is generally dominated by Scotty Cameron, really, um, and it's something that Odyssey, obviously, with, with having the most putters in play want to kind of take some of that market share away and obviously ai1 milled was their way of doing that we've still got that same technology in the face here so we're still going to get that great forgiveness but also a very different feel with the milled face here as opposed to the ai1 with the white hot insert that we're going to have a bit of a look at in another video but yeah the milled versions obviously we've got this fantastic um this kind of blue, dark blue kind of colour here with, with the sort of champagne look of the face and, and obviously the Odyssey button in the back there as well. So the four shapes that we've got to have a look at here are the one wide T, we have the Rossi VT, AI1 milled two ball T, and finally the ever popular Jailbird Mini T, which is now available in a milled head. We're gonna have a few puts with them out here on the golf course today, give you a little bit of a look at what they look like in the playing position, have a bit of a chat about the feel and how these putters perform. But really, as a lover of milled putters, I've been pretty excited in seeing some of the new models. There are some more to come as well, which we will cover in later videos. But I think as, a, as an initial release, just in time for Christmas, for all of you that want to buy that new putter in the festive period, these are four very, very popular models and ones that lots of you are gonna love. Right, let's go hit some putts. So the putter we're gonna start with is the one wide T. So obviously the number one being that kind of bladed design, probably the least forgiving of any of these putters, but that wider kind of footprint gives it a bit more stability. We've got the crank hosel in here as well, which will definitely suit the eye of many players who love a milled putter. So this is kind of your, you know, going up against that kind of Scotty Cameron market. This is the shape of putter, as well as the number one that's already available that many of you will kind of gravitate well, and certainly it's the one that I picked up straight away because it's the one that I like the look of the most. So let's have a few puts with it. Like I say, in terms of the looks behind the golf ball, I think it looks great. In terms of, you know, the alignment, just that single white line on the back there, I absolutely love. The slightly bigger footprint, I think, kind of gives me a little bit more confidence and I really like that crank hosel. So having that little bit of offset between the shaft and the head is something that I've got used to in many of the putters that I've used throughout the years. So let's hit a few putts and let's see exactly how this putter performs. We know that in comparison to the kind of AI one in the kind of white hot face that you get, the feel and the sound is going to be very different. We're anticipating this to feel that a little bit firmer and maybe get that little bit more kind of feedback off the strike. So let's hit a few and see how we get on. Yeah, again, that kind of clicky sort of sound that we get off the face. I actually really like the feedback on this. It feels really, really good. The speed off the face is pretty good, pretty consistent as well. If only I could get it online. Let's see if we can get this one a little bit better. Yep, it's a bit closer. 
So yeah, feel-wise, very, very nice. I, I really like the look of it behind the ball. I mean, I'd be pretty happy with all three of those. They're, you know, they're pretty much tap-ins for, for my par, but what I've kind of struggled with sometimes with other milled putters, Scotty Cameron being one, I've, I've had a few Scotty Camerons over the years and really struggled with the feel of getting the distance control right. This insert, I think, even though it's milled, seems to feel better and I seem to get that feedback that I want on my distance control with putting. Whenever I put bad, it's always to do with distance control, right? And certainly having a putter where I can feel the distance a little bit better and feel the strike a bit more off the face, I kind of obviously build my confidence that way as well. And this, this insert, knowing that I don't have to hit the middle of it every time, certainly gives me that bit of confidence. So all of these putters feature the SL90 shaft, so the Stroke Lab 90 which is a shaft that all of the AI1 series have had in them. So this is a steel shaft, obviously very different to some of the ones that we saw in the early stroke labs that were kind of that dual, um, almost composite material with the graphite and the steel in the tip. It does still have that big brass kind of weight that's in the top of the club there, which we can't see, it's under the grip, but basically it's located just in the top of the shaft here to help counterbalance this putter a little bit so it adds to that feel that we're getting when we're hitting these putts so if that weight wasn't in there the head would feel significantly heavier obviously and then it, that doesn't sort of lend itself very well to good putting strokes so that little bit of weight up here just helps to balance the putter slightly better so we get a better feel so let's hit a few more with this shape but certainly I mean this grip is kind of a more standard size if you like many of you out there will have your big chunky whether it's a super stroke or uh, a wind grip or whatever that you use um, I've always been a fan of grips that are that little bit smaller again so that I can kind of feel the the putter head a little bit better it just feels really really nice off the face the roll is very very good which again is a key thing when we're looking at putters Yeah, it feels lovely. The pace control is something that just feels really good with this. Yeah, I'd be pretty happy again with all three of those. They're pretty much tap-ins. Right, let's move on to some of the more malleted kind of designs that we see here. And probably ones that I wouldn't normally gravitate towards. Let's see how they perform. So the next model we're going to move on to is the Rossi VT. So Rossi is a model that Odyssey have had out for absolutely years. I remember it as a kid, some of the old uh, putters there with that Rossi shape. This is slightly different with that kind of V-line almost shape on the top of it. We've still got that single sight line and obviously the really nice milled insert this is a double bend so a little bit different to what we saw with the crank hosel in the uh, the one wide that we saw there uh, again same shaft same grip same length everything the same so let's hit a few puts and have a bit of a look at how this performs now this isn't a putter I would naturally go for obviously the the benefits are the stability right so we've got a bigger footprint we've got more stable through the stroke we've got that double bend being a little bit more kind of straight back straight through bias as well so let's have a bit of a put with this and see how we go I actually think it looks really nice behind the ball so see if we get that same roll that we saw definitely sounds different sounds a little bit more solid off the face definite different sound there I don't know whether it's just the geometry of the head or what that makes it sound different but there's certainly audibly a very very different feel to this putter yeah again I mean nothing wrong with it but I definitely prefer the previous model that we tried that more bladed sort of design I just find it easier to to get my stroke going with it really and, and like I say the sound is very very different and like I said to you before the whole thing about distance control and being able to control how far that put goes a lot of that I think the feel is is sound yeah so this to me doesn't sound as nice as the previous model the more bladed kind of 1T design that we saw there let's just hit a few more with it because I don't want to dismiss it out of hand straight away but certainly it's a model and a shape that maybe isn't for me thought we had a chance there guys I don't dislike the feel of it it just doesn't feel as good as the previous one that we tried 
certainly to me just doesn't sound as nice but loads of you out there are going to love this you're going to absolutely love rossi putters this slightly bigger head design that we see there and the kind of v style that we have will probably be you know a putter that you've maybe used from odyssey before because this is a shape that or very similar shapes have been available previously maybe not in a milled version um, and not in this obviously the, with the ai1 face so yeah it's certainly a putter that many of you will absolutely love out there that double bend design as well will suit many of your putting styles right let's try one of the others so now we're going to move on to everyone's favorite one that we'll have all used in the past the two ball okay and more importantly the two ball t now not available previously in the milled models and the, there was obviously a massive kind of clamor for it and a lot of people were asking for a two ball in this and odyssey have delivered we've obviously got this nice champagne kind of finish around the balls on the top of there we've got that same face that we see in the other as well as you know the detail and there is a weight there at the back of the putter as well we can see we've got this kind of through channel there so that may change the acoustics a little bit we're yet to see but also we've got the sole plate and that top design there so the weighting of this putter is very different to either of the models that we've tried again this is a double bend shaft and the same sl90 and same grip okay so let's hit a few with this I actually quite like a two ball putter. I quite like the look of them behind the ball. I've just never really found one that um, that feels as good as my blade, really. I, there's just nothing wrong with, with the putter itself. I quite like the story with the, you know, the, the two balls leading onto the third one that we're actually hitting. So let's see how it performs. Yeah, I mean, this sounds a lot more solid than the other models. Like I say, I don't know whether that's because of this big gap in the back of it, but there's a definite clickier kind of sound off the face. Yeah, again, really good. This feels closer to the first one that I tried, if I'm honest. Have we hold one? finally yeah feel off the face very very good i like the look of it it's really stable the only thing for me that's missing would be some kind of alignment line really on it that's that's all i would kind of want i think but certainly i prefer this to the uh rossi v that we just tried before uh, I just I just like the style of it. I like the shape of it. It feels a bit more balanced and the sound is very very nice and solid as well which i quite like I'm certainly a fan of the consistency and I've actually hold two putts with this which I quite like but yeah the, the roll off the face feels pretty good if, like I said I just love the sound more than anything um, yeah I, I think it'd be a toss up between this and that first model that we used just purely I, I think the blade was just more familiar for me but this one like I say, love, love the feel of it, love the look of it, love the sound of it, and certainly seeing it in this milled model, I think definitely feels better than with the um, the white hot face that we've tried before. Right, we've got one more to try. So the Jailbird has been a very popular model over the last couple of years, notably because Ricky Fowler and Wyndham Clark won in fairly quick su succession, uh, and there weren't uh, Odyssey contracted players either. So that prompted you know a huge clamour for people online trying to buy uh, the Jailbird put as the old ones that were out ages ago and odyssey thought do you know what we're going to bring this out to market so that came out last season in ai1 and now we've got it in the milled as well so this jailbird mini t is now available again with this milled insert slightly different colorway so we've got more of a silver against this blue color on here which many of you will quite like again the double bend shaft and the same grip so let's see how this compares to the other three models we've used so we do have the kind of three dot sight on the top of it there which again is slightly different to what we've had with the other models Again, feels very good off the face. Quite similar, I would say, to the two ball, which I quite like. Yeah, again, feels really good. Seems to come off a little quicker than the others. Which is why I've just left one short and right in the middle. But yeah, certainly feels a little different but quite similar to the two ball i quite like the sort of more clicky sound that we're getting off the face it does feel quite stable as well sat behind the golf ball there does feel it kind of fills you with confidence a little bit which i quite like obviously the more confidence we can have with putting the better um but yeah i mean the looks behind the ball when we sit it in that playing position 
I think it looks really, really nice as well. The three dots is not something I've really ever used as an alignment aid before, but you know, I don't, I don't like it as much as a line, but I don't completely hate it. It's absolutely fine. And I think the, obviously the contrast between the silver and the blue really helps with the alignment, which is why Jailbird has been so popular. Go. Pace control has probably not been quite as good with this. I don't know why. Just feels like it comes off the face quite fast. So I'm almost having to slow my stroke down a bit so that it doesn't just fire off. But um, obviously that would just take a little bit of getting used to and kind of, you know, just calibrating your stroke a little bit, really. I suppose every time we get out onto the golf course, the greens are different paces and, you know, <laughs> some of us will play at the same course all the time and not really play many others but even you know particularly now when we're getting into the winter it's getting a little bit sort of softer underfoot the greens are maybe slowing down a little bit you obviously have to adjust your pace a lot when we're out on the golf course and certainly changing putters is a way of kind of doing that quite quickly because obviously every putter is going to feel slightly different when we're putting with it and the pace that it comes off the face is going to be slightly different you know and we're going to have to change accordingly to that and obviously the conditions dictate that sometimes but also the type of putter that we use does as well so yeah i like this I like the look of it I like the feel of it the only negative i would say is my distance control hasn't been quite as good as it was with both the two ball and the one wide would you swap your scotty cameron for one of these I want to find that out because really that's what Odyssey want you to do. They want people who've been sort of loyalist to Scotty Cameron to think, do you know what, maybe there's a technological benefit and something that's going to help my performance change into AI1 milled. Let us know what you think, get in the comments. We'd love to hear from you and keep watching all of our content on the Golf Shake YouTube channel to help you play more and play better. See you soon.